Something you'll find yourself doing a lot is grounding things to the back of a potentiometer. It could be a ground wire from the pickup or possibly bending one of the lugs over to touch the casing, outer casing of the pot or maybe even creating a little bridge wire from one of the lugs to the back of the pot. Regardless, it's a very common thing to do in guitar electronics. In this lesson, we're going to show you how to do it. Well, we have a nice, fresh, new potentiometer. It's going to be a little bit easier to apply solder to the back of it, partly because it it's, hasn't been over-oxidized, and it just, it's just going to make a better surface for us to be able to apply this solder to it. So um, just, like, just like anything, you want to make sure that you heat up the element enough to where the solder is going to bond to the casing and the potentiometer casing versus the so the iron itself. So again, you want to heat it up and you want to feed it into into the heat. So we're going to try this back of this pot right here. I'm just going to get a little bit of heat to this. And then you can see how it flows nicely. And I got just a little bit of solder on the top of it. So we're looking more for this sort of shiny texture on it. Some solder, like if it's all, if it's a all lead, it tends to be a little bit shinier than some of these 6040s or so, uh, lead-free solders. So keep that in mind. You're just making sure that you want kind of a, a nice smooth texture. There's no cracks or anything like that. So that was able to get that pot nice and um, coated or with a little dab of solder. Now if I wanted to add a wire to it, um, again, the, it's always kind of a good habit to be able to tin your wires. And then now if I want to attach this wire to the back of the pot, you can do this a couple ways. You can, uh, if you can hold it, you can even use some needle nose pliers if you wanted to be able to hold the wire in case it gets hot. Again, you want to make sure you're not overheating anything but I'm going to just uh, heat up the solder and making sure that the wire itself, the solder on the wire gets a little bit melted as well. And again, moving quick, you can see it still maintains the shiny texture on it and you'll be good to go.